Come on, little brother, daddy. Come on, little brother. Listen, I, a while ago, right, and this is the early 2000s, right? Mm -hmm. And this, there was a news item that basically said that the um, the Thames, you know, the I guess not the Thames, um, uh, the the Danube, the whatever river, the Rhine River, whatever goes through Germany, mm -hmm. they tested the water, and the level of cocaine was like enormous. Mm -hmm. it, you know, I mean, you know, because people you know urinate and it goes into whatever, you know, mm -hmm. wherever they do, wherever their stuff goes. Up. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, just recently, mm -hmm. they tested the waters in the Thames, a lot of cocaine. Oh. Yeah. Which means that people are taking co business people, whatever, are taking cocaine, and when they urinate, you know, they get some whatever. Not the regular water, but whatever, uh, whatever the river water is. Okay. And when that first happened, I said, "Oh, that's interesting. That means that all the business people, the high class people, the business people, they're basically, you know, because they got to stay up 24 hours, whatever they got to stay up. They're basically, you know, they're using these drugs, you know, or cocaine to, mm -hmm. to stay up in the uh, age and all this sort of stuff. Okay, fair enough." But now, uh, with this latest, what, what has happened lately now, as you may or may not, well, I, I religiously <laughs> watch uh, Stacey Herbert and Max Kaiser, Kaiser report on RT, uh, Russian television. And, um, and it's, it's a very entertaining program. I, I like Max only, but not because I realize, I don't know this financial stuff, but he, he, he come from, I would call it my tribe. And my tribe is a tribe that basically, everything is so ironic, it's absurd. So we look at the world as absurd. Whatever's happening, we say, that's absurd. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we act accordingly. We don't get all, you know, whatever. So we, but we act out. But we just say, don't you see? This is absurd. You know? mm -hmm. So now what's happened, um, latest I got from Max, whatever, and this is very key, is that when they do this gross, na g gross national product, whatever it is, they don't account for the underground economy. And as the and basically as the uh, as it, as we as we keep on having this disparity, there's this big gap between the haves and the have-nots. When the have-nots lose their job or whatever have you, they have to feed their children. They have to you know feed themselves or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. So they don't have any choice but to go into the underground economy, which doesn't get counted. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So remember, I, I, before we talked about this thing, how capitalism is like a pyramid and of course you always have that people coming into into the bottom to like a policy scheme the bottom to feed the people on top to keep them on top but um, as they the way the world is now we're losing a lot of the middle class they go more into the lower classes which means the old lower classes is ballooning mm -hmm. out right but at the same time what people don't realize is that the underground economy those people are praying P-R-E-Y on the same you know, middle class and, and lower class, which makes it even bigger. Plus, these folks have to have to go into the underground economy. Hmm. Uh, and, 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 and so what's, what's, what's basically happening, we, we have this situation where uh, 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 the big boys keep on getting more money and then they use that money to further, you know, for their own agenda, which basically messes up your middle class, sends more people into the underground economy. Etc. 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 But what's more important is that the folks know it. I mean, the people in charge—they know this. It's well known. I mean, uh, go back as far as not back as far as. But if you go to Vietnam, they know when you went to Vietnam. But right after Vietnam, we realized that one of the, the results of that war, um, uh, and I guess the Vietnamese call it the American War, you know, mm -hmm. is that drugs also came into the United States. There's a famous uh, movie that's based on real, a real thing. Um, Denzel did this movie, American Gangster, whatever it is, where they showed that basically they were taking, you know, uh, cocaine or whatever have it for that golden triangle uh, in, in between uh, Laos, Cambodia, China, where the golden triangle is. And they was, the, the cocaine was coming in pure to harm and then he, the guy, but it came through the uh, coffins of the dead soldiers. Mm -hmm. I know. So that happened great. Now, um, let's fast forward, if you will, to the early 2000s. I remember when, when, they, when the United States first said they were going into Afghanistan, you know, to get Bin Laden or whatever the, the deal was. Mm -hmm. I said, wait a second. Isn't Afghanistan, isn't, that, don't, isn't there like number one crop? It's like poppies, poppy seeds, doesn't that make heroin? 
you know. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you know, they, they have pomegranates too, but you don't make a lot of money off of pomegranates, you know, but you make a lot of money off of poppy seeds. So with the winding down of the Afghan war, basically we have a lot of cocaine, I mean, like, okay, a lot of heroin being flooded into the world because it's a bumper crop now. You know, you say what you will about the Taliban, but you don't agree, I mean, you, you've blown up Buddhist statues or whatever have you, but at least they stopped the, the poppies from, from, from popping. So, so now we have a situation basically where, you know, we are being flooded by, the, un the underground economy keeps on growing. The overground economy can't go anymore because the banks uh, they, 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 they have zero percentage rates, you know, for when they get their money, but they charge you all kinds of rates, so they're making a lot of money or for something they don't have to pay for. It's like free money for them, you know, whatever it is. So you have this whole, you have this debt world and everything. So the underground economy can keep on growing, growing, growing. And as long as you don't count them in, you don't really know the, the state of the economy. Now, I'm not an economist, mm -hmm. I'm just an audio dramatist, you know, okay. but I can tell you that something's going on and it's not good, you know, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I mean, I, I would warn everybody, to, it's, it's, please, just don't acquire any more debt, just stop your debt, somehow get rid of your debt because the reckoning is coming and it's not going to be good, but then again, it may not even matter because the way this is going, everything is going to collapse. Worldwide. Mm -hmm. So, there you are. Audio dramatist, this is me, T for the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet. The, uh, I guess I have a title. I'm the uh, executive, not the executive, what was it? I guess I have a title. I'm the arts director emeritus, and this is a dispatch from some place on the planet from the arts director emeritus from WBAI Pacifica. Mm -hmm.